Okay, welcome back. Um, we just got done defining what our horizontal distance was. It was the delta value times the k value, and k is the instrument constant, usually equal to 100. So, let's say, let's say you're on this surface and your instrument is here. Okay, tripod. And you have this rod set up at a certain point that you want an elevation of. Okay, so using three wire leveling, you read the top, middle, and bottom values of the rod using the crosshair through the telescope. You sight out to the middle, you sight out the top, and you sight out the bottom. Top, middle, bottom. Okay, now the distance from here to there is your horizontal distance. Okay, we can figure out the horizontal distances using HD is equal to delta times K. Let's say your top was equal to 6.211, middle was 6.105 and bottom was 6.000. Okay, let's set up our little chart and I'll explain how we use stadias and um, how we use stadias and how we use them to find our horizontal distance. Okay, so let's call this the backside column. Remember, backside is always positive. And this is K, which is the stadia. Okay. Now the readings you get, <clears throat> the readings you get are six point two one one. No, just one one. That's forget that. And the middle is six point one zero five, and the bottom is six point zero zero zero. Okay. Remember your your stadia, your half stadias are your top minus middle and your middle minus bottom. So when we do top, and I'll, I'll label these top, middle, bottom. Okay? Our top minus middle, so 6.211 minus 6.105 gives us 0 0.106. Okay? And our middle minus bottom gives us 0 0.105. Okay? These stadias are only different to the first, second, third decimal place. So that's pretty good. It's pretty accurate. Um, considering, you know, we're only using our human eye to take the measurement. Top minus middle is equal to the half stadia. Middle minus bottom is equal to the half stadia. Okay? Now, we also want to do a quick check on our three readings. How we do this is we try we take the average of these uh, values and if our result is somewhat close to the middle that means our result is pretty good. So if we add 6.211 plus 6.105 plus 6.00 we get 18.316 okay there's three values, so let's divide by three, and we get 6.105 approximately. This value is close to the middle. It's actually exactly the middle. And that means our readings were pretty accurate, and that's good. Now, let's go back to our stadia and figure out how we can figure out, or how we uh, can approximate the horizontal distance. Remember, the horizontal distance was delta times k. Here we figured out the two half stadias. <clears throat> so if we added the half stadias together, if we added 0.106 plus 0.105, we'd get 0 0.211. Okay, and that would be our delta. 0.211 is our delta. That's our full stadia. Let me do this. Where should I do this? We can do it here. So, 
<clears throat> our horizontal distance is delta times k. Horizontal distance is delta times k. Delta in our case, or our full stadia, is 0 0.211, and our k value, remember we said we said to assume that it's 100, so let's do that, 100, and we get our horizontal distance is approximately 21.1. 21.1. Yeah. This is how we can use our half stadias and our full stadias to figure out horizontal distances when we read three measurements um, on the rod from the instrument.